What's up? I recently built a winch and I filmed it so you can see how it's done. Before you start to build your own, you should know that there are three main parts. There's a spool, an engine, and a frame. Now you can make all these on your own or you can purchase them off the internet. There are two different types of winches you can make. One can use a centrifugal clutch, which is good for skating or skimboarding. The other type uses a torque converter, which is more expensive, but gives you a more consistent pull and is best for wakeboarding or snowboarding. All right, first we're gonna start with the spool design. Here's the list of parts that I use to make the spool that I have. Alright, first you're going to take the two grinder blades you have and drill five or six holes in them to match your wheel hubs. Then you take your wheel hubs and you drill four holes in them to match up with the go-kart hubs. As you can see here, the go-kart hub fits in the four holes. You want to make sure that they're identical so that the keyway is on the same side. Once you attach your hub to your hub, take the threaded rod, not PVC pipe, and put the metal pipe around it and put it through the five or six holes you have. Attach the necessary nuts. Nuts. Once you have all the rods on, attach the other hub assembly to the other side. Make sure the keyway is on the same side and then put on the other spool wall. Attach the nuts and then put the axle through. Thumbs up. Then you're going to want to put in your keyway screws to attach the hubs to the axle. I had to buy longer screws because the ones that came with the hubs sucked. Next is your sprocket. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just put the hub in, attach your nuts, and then slide it on the axle and attach the little screw to hold it on. If you want, you can put your pillow box on to make sure it spins, just like that. And here's what mine looks like with the metal pipe and not PVC pipe. You can't really build your own engine, but you can take one off of a pressure washer or shop around. It needs to be at least 6.5 horsepower. Make sure your chain size matches all your sprocket sizes. I went with number 41 because it's a pretty strong chain. The frame is probably the most work. Um, you can get your square metal tubing at Home Depot or on the internet, or you can just order a frame from a winch website. You can get a winch fair lead on Amazon for like $10. If you're making your own frame, you'll need at least 18 feet of metal and a welder. Start by cutting two 18 inch segments for the width of the frame. The width has to be the same length as your axle, which is 18 inches. And then the length should be about 45 inches or longer. And then weld your base together. Next, you want two L-shape pieces like this that are at least 12 inches tall. You want to put those four inches away from the front of the frame. Make sure there's a three inch gap between the two 
because that is where the fair lead will go. Next, you put two 45 degree angle pieces as seen here. These will hold the spool. You can drill the holes for your winch fair lead and then attach it. Go ahead and mark where you want your pillow blocks and then drill the holes so you can set your spool up. By attaching your spool and fair lead, you can adjust as you build your frame to match up. Next, you want two pieces like this for your motor mount. Make sure they're the right length apart to match your motor mounting holes. And then put this support beam here, it's extremely important. And then next we extended the motor mounting area further back. We used a piece of large plastic from a uh, tub lid for our splash guard. And we kind of mounted it like that. And then we put two bars on top near the fair lead to mount the other end of it just like that. Next, mark where you want to drill the holes to mount your motor. Make sure the chain is tight and then drill away. Then attach your motor. Now you choose if you want a centrifugal clutch or a torque converter. The difference is quite extreme. A torque converter is 100% necessary for wakeboarding. If you have a centrifugal clutch, you just slide it on like this. Make sure you get the correct uh, shaft size. Ha ha. Test number one.